This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. this preset goes that I was messing around with Helix native and I, I pulled up one of my kind of previous presets I think I had recorded with uh, a Les Paul or something like that and I, I kind of made a couple of small tweaks um, but this is kind of like my Eric Lee 2023 preset but with just very small tweaks um, but I think hopefully this might be the sort of thing that might help some of you dialing in the sort of tones if you're into the similar sorts of things that I am. Um, this also... Uh Super responsive to volume control changes as well which some of my lead presets are not so um, you might get a bit more of the kind of tone of the guitar <laughs> coming through So let's just go through all of the elements um, and basically up front I've got a, a gate on, obviously there's a fairly high gain preset, um, experiment with this gate to set it how you want, um, I do think it feels better generally when you're playing without a gate but it's just not really a reality with this kind of preset. I've got a red squeeze here, the dynamic comp boosting stuff, 83% mix and 3.8 sensitivity, but for my main tone here, I've actually got that bypassed. If you hear that on... That's basically pushing everything uh, in front of this entire preset, so you get even more kind of gain and chewiness and stuff, but less kind of characteristic guitar. Uh, you know, you're getting less of that actual guitar tone through and you're getting um, less dynamics because it's basically squishing everything up front and yeah, so that's what's happening there. Then I've got the top secret OD, so this is the Dodd OD250 uh, which I've used for a long time now, um, 
more or less because it has a fairly flat mid-range but also just works nicely for that. Without this... It's still a mid-rangey preset, sorry, that's the wrong bit, um, but nowhere near as much gain. But then with that, a really nice full-bodied kind of lead tone. Right, Line 6 Litigator, this has been the thing that I've used most and Although we still now have other options, uh, as well as you know things like the Grammatic, things like the Grammatico kind of Dumble clone, I do still think that this has a really nice feel to it and a really nice squish. Even though it's not based on any real-world amp, this is kind of the beauty of modelling. You can get these interesting things that maybe don't exist so much in the real world. The drive at 9.1, bass at 5.6, the mids pushed to 10 and the treble and presence off. Now that's partly what gives us this kind of smooth. Thing going on. You could up the treble and presence if you want to. Then I've got this low high shelf which is pushing the lower end stuff again to try and get some of this kind of feeling of rumble kind of frequencies 10.5 149 hertz you maybe don't need that so much let's just listen to with and without <laughs> basically just giving the tone a bit more body and a bit more of that rumble stuff. Then we're using the new cab 4x12 Cali V30, 67 condenser, the Neumann, position 3.9, one inch away, low cut off and uh, just a normal angle, but the high cut here at 4 kilohertz. This is cutting things by 6 dB per octave, um, so it's not as aggressive as it looks, um, but it is doing a job to kind of smooth off the top end. <laughs> might be the first place that if you're thinking that sounds a bit distant to me you could go right let's just start bring it up by one kilohertz per <laughs> until you find the sweet spot that works for you uh, but I, I love that then a really important part I think of kind of these liquidy type lead tones Dual delay here, 375, 500 millisecond, 71% on the left, 62% on the right, and both mix at 20%. Uh, you could go higher if you want even more, uh, or go lower if you want something a bit less aggressive. No low cuts or high cuts, and no mod on this um, spread at 10. Then, uh, last of all, I've got the Glitz Reverb. You could go without this if you want a bit more of a modern tone. <laughs> But it does help it to sort of bloom a little bit. 5.1 decay, 1 millisecond pre delay, low cut off, high cut at 15.5, the mix here at 14%, and then 64 millisecond, 1.84, 3.8, 900 hertz crossover, and then 5 mod mix. That's a kind of my default delay and reverb settings. Delay? Delay. Um, I might go higher on the mix, or I might go lower on the mix, depending on what I'm feeling. And then for this kind of clean tone, basically what I'm doing is kicking on this compressor 
and then taking the drive down to 2.2, the bass to 6.2 going up, treble up to 6.8, presence to 3.4, channel volume comes up, and the master comes up. But that gives me my kind of two sounds there, so my main kind of, this is sort of a kind of go-to lead. <laughs> But it sounds really killer, I think. If you jump into the Gumroad folder, you can grab all of my Helix presets basically for five pounds, and that's going to continue to update for as long as that link remains the same. Um, so yeah, if you bought before May of 2022 last year, that link has changed since uh, the hack of the channel. Um, and if you want to support the channel and continue to grab the the presets and drop in and out, I, I try and make it as possible as it is to share these for free, but I'd really appreciate your support if you do want to uh, grab them in that way. Cheers for now. Oh, Patreon as well, I'll chuck up backing tracks, that's where you can find like over 500 of my backing tracks and also the tabs when I'm doing lesson stuff. Cheers for stopping by.